What's up everyone? Welcome back. Kate and I are here at the Kenai River. We're hoping to have a little bit better luck today. So Kate's just finishing up prepping her rod. She got some some new line put on and once she's finished up here we're gonna head down to the river. So come along with us and let's see how we do. Thanks for tuning back in and we'll see you down there. All right. size three split shots in order to give my line enough weight that it'll all drag against the bottom where the fish are. And normally, at least last year, I put three on. But the keen eyes are so high and fast that I'm actually needing to put on four or five right now in order to actually sufficiently let it hit the bottom. I had to get heavier line. I started off with, I think it was about 25 pound. Last year I did about 30, so I switched it to 40 pound um, mono. So, like Dan said, I'm just redoing everything and I had to restring my, my rod and reattach my hook. And I should be about ready to go. So, I like, after I apply my split shot weights, I like to do a small little knot in the line just below them mm -hmm. and that just helps with making sure that they don't slide down and I have um, last year I found that I had to adjust them quite a bit and somebody showed me that if I tie a little knot like that that they don't move when they hit the rocks otherwise they'll slide all over this line so right. In order to avoid that, I like to just do that one little knot, and it saves me a lot of grief. Cool. Good tip. Thank you. Wish I could take the credit. You can take the credit for sharing it on our video. <laughs> True. All right. Let's get down there. Let's do it. Still got on you. That looks like a fish. It all hooked for a fish. Come on again. All right, that's a good hook there. Do you want to whack it or do you want me to? All right, and that is a good hook right there in the mouth. Nice job. All right. To rip the gills. I like to do it on both sides just to bleed them out. You can do the first. Um, there's a few different, um, yeah, light layers. I do the first one or the back one here, um, and then they bleed out pretty well once you get them on the stringer. And so you don't really have to pull this all the way through as long as it's securely in there. Yep. But. Just to show you, it'll hold right yep. there. You want to make sure you have a good stringer though, because sometimes they don't stick very well, unless they have a proper hook like that. Yep. Cool. Oh, girl's on fire. Still have it.
That looks like a good hook. That looks like a good one. Woo! Yep, tail. Okay. All tail. All tail. Any type of hook. Okay, now it's time to switch. Are you on? Shoot. Push on. Come on. Aww. Okay. Wear him out a little more. I should have let it run. Switch. Okay. All right, got another one. Not ready. <laughs> All right, you just get a fish. You want to hold it up? Is it good size? That is a huge sockeye. Good size. Probably a male by the, yep. by the horn here. It's got some teeth coming in. So, yeah. Yeah. Right. Bring them in. We got a total of four so far. It feels good after losing that other one that I fought yeah. for a while. It's probably just about that big. Knew, yeah, it felt about the same size. I knew I should have let it run again. But I was just too impatient. Woo! That's a good one. That's a good size fish. This is five for me. Five, she's almost at her limit. I got to step my game up. Or I need to get out of your way so that all the fish start coming to you. <laughs> either way, either way. All right. Let's see it. Hold that fish up. Nice, nice catch. Yeah. All right, put it on. Let's see though, the stringer's looking right, like right now. Look at all those fish. Look at them. Yeah, the biggest one's mine. It's okay, you can say it. But that's a good size fish, good effort. Thank you, uh -huh. I'll take it. Okay, I'm gonna get back to fishing. Get the and that is? My sixth fish. That's the limit. She hit her limit. I'm now going to retire the my rod for the evening. Ron is retired. Rod. Rod is retired. Wow. Not on purpose. Although I kind of like the name Ron for my rod. It's kind of funny. Okay. This is now officially Ron. Oh, oh God. This guy is still kicking. Okay. Well, yeah. Because you're bleeding. I already ripped. That's okay. Well, yeah, he didn't enjoy it. No, he didn't. Being made dead. No, all right, that's a good fish. There it is. Yay. Say something funny. That's a big fish. All right. Oh, well, hey guys. I'm out here with Dan and we're fishing. I have first sockeye salmon and uh, I limited out. And so I'm just standing by to net for Dan, who's got two. I'm trying to get four more to get his limit. Uh, so he is right there, flipping away. We're going to do it. We're going to both limit today. We've never done that. <laughs> I believe in us. All right, what's our, what's our total there? How many do we have? Eight. Not too bad. Mm -hmm. Didn't quite hit our limit, but not bad for a day's work. All right, so we got all of our well, fishing bags here, and we're gonna take it home and process it because yeah, it is really way packed. too busy down there, and everyone's everyone's kind of getting ready, I think, to wrap up for the evening. So there's a line of at least four or five people with a bunch of fish. So we would spend an hour probably just waiting. Also, people just like taking up stairs, like space on the stairs yeah, doing it. Yeah, I mean, we could have, we could do it over there somewhere, but we'll just take them home, 
and, and wait till tomorrow. They'll, they'll keep overnight in the bridge and uh, we'll get them done tomorrow evening as, a, as our little pass. Yeah. So that's it. We're going to get out of the rain. Oh, Settled in there, huh? Settled in. Trying to get there. Yeah. It's cool. If you're getting out of that water. Yeah. So we were out there for four and a half hours. Four and a half hours. Um, Kate caught her limit in probably like the first couple hours. Uh, maybe the first two hours that we were out there. I got a really lucky spot. And it just the messages from flowing right into it. But to it was be very, fair, they're huge. Fish yeah, they're, and they're they big fish. fight like crazy, which is it's different this year. I mean, they're you, you even hear people alongside you saying this year is different, and so everyone is losing. Everyone's yeah, losing everyone, fish. everyone was was losing fish, but yeah, I've ne I've never hit that many fish um, in that amount of time. But it, so I was, Kate hit her limit of fish. I definitely hit my limit of frustration. Um, <laughs> Lost several hooks and weights. Well, yeah, I mean, and both like, of us did. Like Kate was saying, like they just fight so hard, and sometimes you have them on for like a couple minutes. They're you're fighting it and fighting it, and then it finally the line breaks, and it's just like, oh come on! I just could not get my last three fish in. Um, but ultimately, even though I got a little frustrated, it was a great day. Of, it was a great day of fishing. Yeah. Um, I think that's the most we've collectively brought in together. We'll tune back in tomorrow, and we'll clean them um, and fillet them, and we will show you that process uh, as a little how-to video. Um, so yeah, it was fun, it was a good day. Even though I got a little frustrated there only for like the last two or three hours, um, but it was fine. So uh, thanks thanks again for, for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe. If you subscribe, you can hit that bell for notifications and we'll bring you more videos. We have some, some interesting stuff coming up. Uh, we'll take a little break from the fishing videos, but don't go away. There will be more fishing, um, but we're gonna go across the Ketchumek Bay here, and then um, we're gonna have a friend of ours come out and we're gonna go across the Cook Inlet to Lake Clark and fish sockeye over there. With it, bears. With bears. It's gonna be incredible. So tune in for that, and thanks again, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone. Bye.